7 through the 10th verses. Ephesians, the first chapter. 7 through the 10th verses. It says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of of time that he might gather together in one all things in Christ yes. both which are in heaven and which are on earth even in him yes. in him we have redemption through his blood which paid the penalty for our sin and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sin in accordance with the riches of his grace which he lavished on us in all wisdom and understanding he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure, which he purposed in Christ with regard to the fulfillment of the time to bring all things in Christ, both things in the heavens and on the earth. Amen. Amen. Say amen to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. And this morning, I, I want to use as a as a subject, he's worthy of our praise. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Worthy of our friends. Yes. 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 In, in this text, Paul moves from praising God's work in the past to praising his work in the present. Paul moves from praising God for his plan of redemption of how he formed the body of Christ to how he brings that body together in time. Talking about right now. And Paul has been looking back. But, but now in this text, he, he begins to look around. Somebody ought to begin to look around. Right? All right. Look around. Look around. And, and I know like look back from whence we have come. And, and we can't take anything from what God has already done, from what he has allowed us to do. But I don't know about anybody else. He's blessing me right now. I have a reason to praise God. Does anyone have a reason to praise God? Yes. Yes. And then that's my intent today. I, I want you to see you to see that God, first of all, is to be praised for his redemption. God is to be praised for his results. And then God is to be praised for his reason. And, and, and what I'm trying to say when you put all these together is that he's worthy of our praise. Oh, yeah. Does anyone remember SNH Green Stamp? Oh, yeah. Let me explain for some of the young ones in here. You, you receive these stamps when you bought something from the store. That's right. Grocery store mostly. And, and the more you spent, the more stamps you receive. Right. Amen. Amen. And you had to take the stamp home yeah. and you had to put them in a book. Yeah. Anybody remember licking stamps? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. Yeah. And, and you took the stamps to a redemption yeah. 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 And, and you exchanged them for merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you would have a catalog to let you know how many stamps were needed for what you want. That's right. And for the young ones, it, it, it's similar to uh, to the arcade game places uh, where you 
where, where you get tickets based on how well you've done at a, yeah. at a game. And, and then you would take the tickets up to the counter to trade for gifts. Yeah. Everybody on board with me? All right. But see, when you and I experience redemption, yeah. see, it's more than trading one item for another. All right. See, redemption what? isn't a trade. That's right. well, we don't collect enough points or do enough good to get God to let us off for the bad that we've done. Yeah. Redemption is a gift. Yeah. A, a gift that God gives us based on nothing that we have to offer in return. Right. And, and, and while redemption is a gift to us, I didn't say it was free. Why? It, it costs God something. Yes, it yeah. and, and anybody know that a price was, was paid? Right. Yeah. But Paul says in the seventh verse of this text. He says, we have redemption. Yes. It, it means that those who are saved have been released from the slavery of sin. Yes. Now, now if, if you are saved, amen, your, your freedom has been purchased. All right. yes. Uh, yes, you are a slave. Yes. John 8, chapter 34, verse Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. We all have sinned, amen? We all have done some wrong. We all have fallen short of his glory. And then sin is a mean master. Oh, yes, it is. I, I know we don't like to talk about yeah. slavery and, and masters, but, but a son is a sin. He is a hurt sin. Oh. Sin enslaves its victims yes. and demands a high price for their release, yes. for their freedom. Oh. It, it, it demands death yes. oh. as its price. Yes. Romans 6 and 23 said, but for the wages of sin yeah. is death. Right. Death is the price that had to be paid for our redemption. Mm -hmm. That is the price yeah. that Jesus paid yeah. when he went out on the cross ah, for our sin. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Jesus gave his life ah, that we may go free. Yeah. He, he's worthy yes, he of is. our prayer. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes, he is. If you've been redeemed, Glory. if you've been set free, Glory. you have plenty Glory. of reasons Glory. to praise him. Glory. Plenty of Glory. reasons to give him worship, Glory. to give him glory, yes. to give him honor. Yes. The Lord who, who bought you with his own blood. Yes. And, 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 and while the redemption the Lord gives to his people is not cheap. Uh -huh. The seventh verse says, we have redemption well, through his blood. When you came to Jesus, you didn't have to come and bring a payment in your hand. All you needed was faith in his death yes. and resurrection. All right. That's right. When you believed on him by faith, yeah. you were saved yeah. by grace. Yeah. And it didn't cost you a right. thing. Right. Christ, Christ paid for our redemption yeah. with his blood. Yeah. And, and Paul tells us that this redemption flows to us According to the riches of his yeah. grace. All right. Yeah. Everything God has done in Jesus come to us according to his what? riches That's right. in grace. Yeah. Think about it this way. If, if we were to take up an offering right now, or take up an offering when I'm done, 
and a millionaire. We just we we, we just use uh, Dick Wilson, a millionaire, gave ten dollars in the offer. He is given out of his riches. That's right. Because see, just about everybody could give $10. I'm not saying you, you would. Yeah. Some folks are still holding on to a dollar. Mm -hmm. but, but you could mm -hmm. if you wanted to. Amen. But, but if the millionaire, Deacon Wilkes, yeah. gave $10,000, uh -huh. see, he would be given according to his riches. All right, all right. And, and, a lot of us, we couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But he would be given according to his right. riches. Not out of his riches, but according to his riches. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Right. He has given us a redemption that has no limits. Yeah. None whatsoever. Look, look at the text. Look at the text. I'm, 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 I'm moving on. I held it a little long last week. It's, it's a, but the third verse says that he has blessed us yeah. with, with all spiritual blessing. Yes. Yes. All. Yes. In, in everything. The, the fourth verse says that he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. Right. He, yes. he thought about you before he did anything else. He, 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 he changed our life. Fifth verse that says he, he adopted us into his family and, and, and someday we will be with him in his heaven where we will be like Jesus. All right, all right. When, when, when God saved us, he did it according to the riches of his grace. All right, all right. He's worthy. He's worthy of our prayer. Yes, he is. God is to be praised for the results. Everybody likes results. But, but, but according to the sixth verse of the text, we, we have been accepted in the beloved. That's right. With the results. We, we, while we've already been accepted. And, and the word accepted means to make agreeable. In our natural state, we are not agreeable to God. Uh-huh. In our natural state. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We grateful yeah. to him. Yeah. That's, uh, that's for nerving me. Yeah. If, if so far, <laughs> are not agreeable to God. I don't know why I ought to expect them to be agreeable to me. If their ways are Hateful to God. I, I don't know why I ought to be surprised what? when people are hateful toward me. When we come to Jesus and are redeemed, everything changes. Oh, wicked sinners like, like me and you are brought into a grace relationship with God. Our sins are Forget it. Our yeah. stains are washed away in his blood. Oh, yeah. Even our natures, our personalities, our, our character yeah. are changed oh, yeah. through the new birth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Second Peter 1 and 4 says, And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. And these are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature. Yes. Share his divine nature. Can I say that again? Share his divine nature, his divine personality, his divine character, and, and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. That's right. When we come to him, God accepts us. We come as we are, but we don't get to stay as we are. That's right, that's right. A, a change takes place. And without the change 
taking place. You can't escape human desire. You can't escape the need to feed your ego. You, you can't escape the quest for power. You, you can't get around the idea that, that, that nothing is able to move or to happen without you. I, I, I thank God for the results in, in my life. I, I, I don't know about you, but, but he's worthy of my praise. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is to be praised for his reasons. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm. and has anyone ever asked why does God redeem people from sins? Oh, no. Why does he, he save them, forgive them, and make them his children? Why is God so gracious to people who, who deserve hell, judgment, and, and damnation? Oh, uh, uh, Andre Crouch saying, Sang a song and said, I don't know why Jesus loved me. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know why he cares. Yeah. I don't know why he sacrificed yeah. his, his life, yeah. but I'm glad yeah. that he did. Yeah. 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 God's grace is truly amazing. Yeah. Yeah. In, in his grace, yeah. when we didn't deserve to be loved, yeah. he yet loved us. Yeah. He saved us when, when he had every right to just let us go on to hell. And, and, and we have been given everything that, that God has to offer. And, and we deserve nothing. And do you want to know what the wonder of God's grace is? The, the wonder of God's grace is that he would save somebody like you and me. That he would love us. That he would choose us. That he would cause, that he would save us, yes. that he would bless us, yes. that he would pick us up, yes. that he would turn things around, yes. that he would touch our, our body, he would honor us, that he would use us, that he would adopt us yes. as his own. Yes. I thank God for the wonder of his grace. Yes. Yes. Verse 9 tells us that God's redemptive plan flows from the mystery of his will that, that he did for us according to his good pleasure and that God devised and carried out all of this because he purposed in himself. All right. in, in other words, God's whole redemptive plan Exists to bring him glory. That's right. That's right. And every soul that is saved right. fulfills God's plan and it brings him glory. That's right. It is through his wisdom that God has made known unto us the mystery of his will. Yeah. He has allowed us to understand the difference between heaven and hell. Yeah. He's allowed us to understand. What sin does. Yeah, yeah. And, and the fact of his love for us. And, and all of these things are hidden from those who are dead in their trespasses oh, right. and their sins. That's right. They don't know. They don't know. They, and, and so God for his and for And he uses that truth to con connect us to our sins and to draw us to Jesus. Yeah. He uses that to give us faith to believe that he is who he says that he is yeah. and that he'll do what he said that he'll right. do. He, he used that truth to give us yeah. that faith. Yeah. And, and then he uses that truth to redeem us. I can't help but give him praise. All right, oh, yeah, God. yeah. Amen. Can't help but give him praise. Thank you. Amen. I'm almost done. Thank you, Lord. But in the tenth verse, Thank you, Lord. Paul reminds us that history is not without purpose. Right, God has done everything that that He has to bring everything together in the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul uses the words. 
the dispensation of the fullness of time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It refers to control. God is in control. Anybody know God is in control? And, and, and he, he, he's working out a perfect plan that he put together before the world was formed. And, and in the end, God will, be, will reveal Jesus Christ to be the head of all things to all people. And the scripture said that, that every knee that's right. shall bow yeah. at, at his name. That's right. Amen. Yeah. The, the, the world ignores him today. Uh -huh. The world acts like it doesn't matter. Yeah. The, 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 the world refuses to bow to honor him, but they're going to come with that. All right. All right. I, and I'm glad. Yeah. Amen. That, that one day he'll demonstrate yes. the power yes. through his son, yes. the Lord Jesus. Yes. I'm glad. Yes. I can't help but praise him. Yes. Yes. Because God yes. has made us, yes. has made you, uh -huh. and he made me. Yes. Yes. A part yeah. of his plan. Yeah. He, he, he has placed us yes, in Jesus yes, by grace through faith. Yes, and he has blessed us. Blessed us in Jesus yes. with all spiritual blessings. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. And he's promised, the Lord's promised, yeah. he promised, he promised to keep us, yeah. Yeah. he promised that we should yeah. reign, reign, yeah. reign with him, yeah. Second Timothy, Yeah. <laughs> 
you don't know it, then the party know you're singing. Yes. Oh, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. God has something to offer. I don't have anything to offer. But he does. Why, why, why don't you allow him today to, to start you on a journey? Not your purpose. Not, not your will. But his purpose. His will. Why don't you allow him to do what you've been trying to do? You've been failing. You've been falling. And every time it seems like that you're going in the right direction, that you're, that you're moving, that the enemy steps in and he just snatches the rug from under your feet. No, no, no matter how hard you try, it seems like you just can't turn the corner. But I offer you Christ today. I offer you Christ. And I'm not saying I'm offering you an easy pass. But, but when I offer you Christ, I tell you what he said. He said that his grace is sufficient. That, that even in the shadow of death, it is a shadow. That, may, that means that it may look like it. But it's a shadow. I don't, I, I don't have anything to offer you, but, but I, 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 I can tell you about his word. His, his word says that, that he'll prepare a table in, in the presence of the enemy. And what that means is, he's not going to run the enemy off. He's not going to run off. 